Hi, my name is Brennan Johnson, alongside Lev Zucker and Lex McKenzie. Today, we are here on Sports Broadcasting Camp's PDI, and we will be talking about who will win the NBA's Eastern and Western Conferences, and we'll go over to Lex first with this one. Uh, I think for the Eastern Conference, it might be tough, but I feel like the Nets could have done it, but the big three can never just work together and stay healthy together. Um, Like last year, they didn't even play so many games in the regular season together. So I think the Bucks will win the Eastern Conference again this year. Um, I think they'll win this year over all the other teams because I think that um, the other teams just don't have what it takes. They might win the other teams might win the finals, but I think the Bucks will take the conference. <laughs> I disagree. Oh. Okay, I disagree with you. I think the Philadelphia 76ers are going to win the Eastern Conference because of a guy that they just signed to the Supermax named Joel Embiid. If he can stay healthy, he's the most dominant player since Shaquille O'Neal, and that is not me being biased. That is a fact. And he can go along even if you keep Ben Simmons. Obviously, a lot of people want him on the team. Ben Simmons, if he can know his role, he does not have to shoot. Everyone wants him to shoot. He does not have to shoot. If he can just be that playmaking point guard and that guy that we all know as one of the best defensive players in the basketball, then the Sixers can win the conference. Not to mention, if Seth Curry's on his best shooting, he's one of the best shooters in the league. And you have a new addition in guys like Andre Drummond who off the bench. Andre Drummond's led the league in rebounds like three times in his career. So I believe that Philly is going to win this conference with a record of approximately 55 and 27. Okay, I like both takes with the underrated Bucks from Lex and again, another underrated team in the East, the 76ers from Lev, especially with Joel Embiid. And Giannis. Now we'll move to the Western Conference, and we'll have Lev start this time with the Western Conference. Now everyone in the Western Conference is going to say the Los Angeles Lakers. I do not see that because they have too many players on their team that don't have a good shot. The best shooter on their team is Wayne Ellington, who's going to come off the bench. And even off the bench, what is he going to do? Average five points a game with like one three-pointer. And then you see guys like Westbrook who are not going to hit shots for you all this time. So in the Western Conference, I have an underrated team that I don't think people have been talking about enough to win the conference, the Los Angeles Clippers. Now, Kawhi Leonard is not going to be here for the start of the season. You're going to have Paul George, who is the most underrated player in the West. Everyone likes to bash on him. He still averages about 25 points a game, and he can lead any team. All he needs to do is have a good supporting guest. And now with this trade, while I didn't really like it, it's going to help Paul George. The Eric Bledsoe addition is easily, for a guy that's that good of a playmaker, easily helps Paul George. Then the big men are the part that everyone's usually worried about for the Clippers. Their starting center might be Aviko Subach, but he's a very good defender. And if you look out, if they do get Kawhi back by the playoffs, he is so dominant when it comes to being clutch. I think the Clippers are going to win the West, and they are going to meet the Philadelphia 76ers in the NBA Finals. I disagree. Um, the Lakers did add Russell Westbrook, who is a triple-double machine. But with him, LeBron... 80, it's not going to be as easy to get some of the things for the triple-double. Maybe like an assist because he might be going for points. Or maybe points because he might be going for assists or rebounds because 80 is down there. But um, I think the Suns will win it because the Lakers, their um, their backups, like they're trading like the backups they have for bigger and star players. But like that you can't have them all 48 minutes in the game. So I think the Suns will have it because they have a pretty young roster. DeAndre Ayton, Devin Booker. I think that um, 
they will take it because of that, and I think that they will win the Western Conference over the Lakers. Okay, well, go, ba- both great picks from Lev and Lex, as that's going to do it for the Sports Broadcasting Camp PDI. Catch us later here.